hey out there guys I didn't forget about you had a couple things going on friggin three hour tooth extraction holy for gullies and then of course I had uh, hydrocodones and then I think I slept funny because I was down in the back all week god that's getting old sucks anyways I've been dorking out there with some daily driver stuff. Uh, not a whole lot going on in the old Chevy. I got a new part for it. And that's this guy right here. I'm going to do a vid uh, video on this. And this is the second gear apply band for that. 204R from Sonax. So it's a little bit sloppy on the second gear and it looks like it's got the stock cover on it. So it did not get the heavy duty apply piston or actuator for it. So we're going to sneak that in. Uh, Chevelle. Swap me. Pick tank. We're going to see if we can't figure out where to sneak this guy. So that it's still halfway vertical. Not a lot of room. Vacuum pumps underneath the fender. That's what all those wires are. So I can't go in there. Hmm. Well, let me dork with this little bit see where we want to try to sneak it maybe inside the grill here yeah it'll fit in there it's kind of a nice small size all right well let's see what we got going on we'll get back into this <laughs> all right well i think we got a nice spot for it so right there it's one of the bolts that holds the radiator on it's got a captured nut on the uh, that header panel. I'm gonna make a little bracket goes off of there, and then it'll bolt to there. Bit of an angle, just like that. We can still get the cap off of that puke can if we have to. And all I'm gonna do, take a little piece of flat bar, do that, and then I think. Down in there a little further, there looks like another hole or that other radiator bolt or something. I'll just make another longer piece of flat bar, reach the bottom of that bolt, and then we'll hold that catch can. Kind of wanted to keep the engine bay tidier looking, so we'll mount it out here. It's not going to block any airflow. You can see the radiator core ends right there, so we got plenty of room. So I'm going to poke a couple holes in that. Mount that one up and then figure out that bottom one. Yay! Another fine job well done. I gotta get the right sized pipe thread to quarter hose nipple so I can run a hose. I'll go underneath and up to the puke can. Um, Dad already lost a set of. We got the fancy covered wires. So I just need to put a little nut on these so they don't fall off. And what else? Oh, I drain the antifreeze and put these little spiffy chrome doodads on top of there. Dress that up. All right. Well, quickie. Just kind of getting back into the swing of things after having a getting down in the back there for a while. But yeah. We're back up in Chuchin, so let's give her a rip. Did get a chance to drive that once. Um, and then I talked with some guys on a Facebook page about transmissions. And they're like, well, you know, the drums scored all that. I'm like, well, yeah, okay. But they suggested that accumulator, well, not accumulator. What is it? Doesn't say. Yeah, it's servo. Yeah, so that's what pushes on the band. Apparently it's 33, 35% bigger than stock, so 
Oh, what the hell, we could put that in with it still in the car and give that a shot. All right, well, springtime's coming. We'll get out cruising and having a good time. You guys take care.